how can I introduce threesomes, whether it be a relationship or just a fuck buddy? <clears throat> okay, well, the easiest way, well, first of all, you, you have to have like a primary. Well, you don't have to. It's the easiest way, the simplest, most effective way is to have a primary girl. So it'd be that a girlfriend who is bi or bi curious, or a fuck buddy who is bi or bi curious. So you start with that. And then <clears throat> you, well, you either vet for bisexuality before you get into anything with that person. So you, you vet, you, you just exclusively date girls who are bisexual or bi curious. That's one, that's one way of going about it. Or you screen for that bisexuality or, or probe for that bisexuality in her while you're, you know, interacting with her. Ask, you know, obviously ask about it, see, see what she's into. Easy ways to do this, fun ways to do this are to um, play games like Fuck, Marry, Kill. If you're in a bar or a restaurant or out, out in the public area or whatever, you point out three girls to her and you tell her you have to fuck one, marry one, kill one. And you, you gauge her, her interpretation of what, of the women she thinks are sexy and beautiful and stuff. Um, and you start, you start going down that rabbit hole a little bit. <clears throat> then, during, uh, during sex itself, you can use dirty talk to kind of amplify and, and, and sexualize through some fantasies like this. And the two common ways I usually do it, my two go-tos, uh, so basically you can do this in any position, but easiest to do it in like doggy, doggy style, or yeah, doggy style is pretty easy, because you're, it's more of a um, dominant position, so you can grab the back of her hair, right? Pull her face closer to you whilst you're in, whilst you're penetrating her, whilst you're inside her. Whisper in her ear, like it's very it's very dominant, but it's also close and intimate. Uh, and you'd whisper something like, "Imagine there was a th imagine there was a woman tied up in the corner right now, watching us fuck like this." What's that do? That creates a uh, exhibitionist kind of frame of mind. You're creating an exhibitionist fanti fantasy about a woman being in the room with you, watching the two of you. There's something that can get women off very easily, actually. But you're, you're, you see what we're doing here. We're sort of opening the, the, the door to, to going into like a threesome situation in the future. We're just opening that, opening her mind up to that idea. The second thing, I, the second kind of fantasy I'll, I'll talk about in bed with a woman. Again, same position, like doggy style, fucking in the same position. I might not do these in the same sex session, by the way. I might break it up over a few. And uh, the second one is kind of the reverse it's imagine if I had you tied up in that chair over there and you were watching me fuck another girl the way I'm fucking you right now All right and make sure you're fucking her good <laughs> when you're doing that because <laughs> otherwise it's kind of pointless but again but that is that creates a voyeuristic fantasy in her brain and that really tests to see like how open she is to this and the whole point of it, you, you don't do this cold you don't do this when you don't do this when she's not aroused you don't do this when she's like you just start having sex you do this while she's in the you're in the throes of passion and she's obviously highly aroused and moaning and really into it because that is a hypnotic state of mind uh, an aroused state of mind is a hypnotic state of mind it's a highly suggestible state of mind for the subconscious so that's when you can can kind of come in there and drop these suggestions to her subconscious while she's in that state, while she's in that really, really sexually aroused state. Cool. And then after the fact, then you can start talking about the idea of a threesome and what kind of girl she'd be into and, and these sort of things. And then the simplest way is really just to create a, a couple's Tinder, like create a Tinder profile as a couple, have great photo, really good photos of the two of you, just lead with photos of her looking really hot, uh, set the preferences to just to women only, and then happy days, and just go hunting on Tinder. That's the simplest way to do it. Uh, it's easier, it's much simpler than going out to bars and clubs and things. Um, you can totally do that too. But she needs to learn how to actually seduce women, which is quite challenging for a lot of women to figure out. Um, so, you know, the path of least resistance is really just the, the Tinder route. But that is like kind of a step-by-step um, step strategy to, uh, yeah, getting threesomes and things. <clears throat>